Okay. Just turn this stuff down here. Hello, can you hear me okay? I'd like to escape out of this window. How do I do that? Options. Controls. General. Hi, everybody. Display area adjustment. Hmm. Let's start from the beginning. I, I, it's been forever, and I saw this on um, my stream, uh, my uh, Steam, rather, my library, and I. God, it's been, it's probably been two years since I touched this thing and I barely got into it, so. So can everybody hear me okay? Audio good, yeah, yeah. New game. Difficulty level. I don't. I am weak and fearful. Casual hell yeah. Code 3, ETA 3 minutes. Copy 184. Sorry, detectives. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? The call went out just before I picked you up. Said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. 131, please advise. Maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? 127, 124, please respond. Joseph, you think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene, respond. Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problem reaching out on the scene. Deacon Memorial on the Is there any... God damn it! Jesus! Junior Detective Kidman. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there.
make of it. Connolly, contact dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. Always running? What do you see, Kidman? Rain is gonna wash away any evidence. She walks through me. I think it's love. Like, would you go in there? I'm not convinced I'd go in there. I like the raindrop effects on the lens. That's a nice touch. Ah. It smells like blood. All right, stay sharp. We're gonna check it out. <laughs> Don't let Excuse anyone me? else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. Allergic. You're a backup. Uh, let's see. Help me out with the volume levels. Can you hear me okay? I want to keep the game loud enough so that you can uh, really get into it. But not so much that I'm competing with the audio. Oh, yeah, it's a mental hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear something? Yeah, let's do this. What the hell is that? It's an IV. Oh, it was floating on the ground. Not just murdered. Right, not just murdered, but apparently put into a blender. And they send three detectives. My character looks like someone. Help me figure it out. Who's alive? Did he say somebody was alive? Pardon me, do you uh, have, say, a spare room one night? Are you injured? What happened here? Look at his eyes. Can't be real. Impossible. Ruvik is... I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. I guess I'll go and check the security cameras. What the hell? Ricky Gervais has not yet responded, my friends. But I'm hoping to get him on the show. I do have John Delancey coming up in January. Uh, also, um, is it Paul Stabano or Stabiano? Who was one of the reporters featured in the film Spotlight. Who uncovered the uh, Catholic abuses in Boston. He's interested in doing the show. In uh, probably February.
I can look. I can't turn any further. But this guy looks like Bane mixed with... Somebody. Press space repeatedly. I can almost smell the place. Yeah, Bane and Leatherface. Good one. Sneaking control. What the hell? This guy is obviously not vegan. Oh shit! Pick up what? Ordinary keys. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was my own fault. That was my own. I just got careless. Alright. Is there a door back here, you said? Ah. Uh. Won't allow me to open it. Locked shut. What about this uh, little? <laughs> this guy is definitely not a vegan. Not a vegan. Serene music is actually having an inverse effect. I feel like I'm walking into my own funeral. Okay, we have chainsaw blades. No, we have chainsaws. Many of them. It's always good to have options. What the? Shit. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh. 
Oh my god. We're gonna need some antibacterial. I'm just saying. So we gash my leg. I gotta gimp around for the rest of the freaking game. That is so wrong. How long do you think it'll be before we see a nasty toilet? We were talking about how in every horror game, it's always a nasty bathroom with a really nasty toilet. It's like a requirement. I would like a rinse, please. Yeah, Eagle says I'm already infected. The wound's infected. It's like being bitten by a, what's the beast that if it bites you, it bites you and then it sits around and waits for you to die of infection? Uh, was it the Gila monster? Or a monitor or some kind? Some kind of a large lizard. And they have so much bacteria growing in their mouth that they'll just go and all of a sudden they just chomp on you. And then they just hang back and wait until you die of the infection. The Komodo Dragon. Thank you, Dirty Jack. That's a patient predator right there. Just sit around and wait for you to kick off or, or become incapacitated. Resources in here for me? Why did it let me come in here? There's a reason. Is that a. What is that? Maybe this is a place to hide? Here we the exit. come, walking down the street. Beside the locked gate at the far end of the sewer, there's a ladder which would take you to the old ward. If you could make it through there, you would find an elevator leading outside. You would be the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. Okay, so locked gate. There's a ladder that takes you to the ward. And then after the ward is an elevator. Okay. I'm going to need an elevator because the guy freaking chainsawed my leg. Now, is it a... Like, is it human or humanoid? Or is it a, um, some kind of a supernatural creature? Is it a monster among us? Like a mortal monster? Just a kind of a fucked up human being? Or is this some sort of a supernatural beastie that will require extra resources and resourcefulness to be able to dispatch? This is my question. We've obviously seen apparitions already. What would you do in a situation like this? You were in an unknown place, probably buried deep within the bowels of a very unsanitary haunted asylum with someone brandishing a chainsaw in your direction. Would you... Would you surrender? Would you give up? Would you just say, fuck it? I'd rather get it over with because there's no way I'm getting out. Stem system operation test begins. Success, confirmation of brainwave synchronization. Losses minimal. Continuing experiment. Agent collects the data. Fifteen minutes later, anomaly occurs. Not with the subject. The stenographer claimed they weren't feeling well and then fell into a coma for reasons unknown. Doctors, doctor orders the stem system terminated. 
15 minutes later. Staff begin complaining. Oh, fuck. Let me read that. How do I read that? In the eye inventory. Oh, okay. Well, I get it. Some An experiment went wrong. What's that meme? Did we see it uh, that says at the beginning of every disaster movie, there's a scientist being ignored? I always thought that was a great line. At the beginning of every disaster movie. <laughs> <laughs> Drosophilia said, I'd write a very stern letter of complaint. Pardon me, can I see a manager, please? I would like to talk to someone about this travesty of a hotel. Okay, I see boxes that I cannot manipulate. Is there anything inventory-wise here that I can use? Well, where's that dude with the chainsaw? Uh, chainsaw, rather. Hmm? Where is he? Oh, shit! I heard a chainsaw. Oh my god! Oh, oh, come on! Does he not know how to open doors? Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> couldn't get through there, right? Or did I just come up through there and I can't get back out? The guy cut my head off. So this raises another logistical question that some might consider to be a bit macabre, but let's have the discussion together, shall we? When someone is decapitated, guillotine, sword, chainsaw, quickly, How long are you conscious? Or are you conscious? Like, does the severing of the spinal cord put you into shock and you're out? Or do you lie there in a disembodied head, realizing that you've been beheaded in great pain until finally you go, you have a whiteout because of blood loss to the brain? How long does the decapitated live? When he cuts my head off, how long do I lie there aware that I was just decapitated by chainsaw and not being able to move. And then, do you have phantom pain? Like, would you feel hurt in your hands and feet even though they were no longer connected to your head? Just saying. <sighs> okay. I knew you're going to have to come up with a strategy here. Has anyone else researched this? During the French Revolution, you know, when everybody was dying by guillotine. Guillotine or guillotine? Did they know they'd been decapitated? 
Drost says there are some historical accounts of people blinking and looking around after decapitation. It's difficult to be certain. Phil says physiology of death by decapitation. Decapitation is quickly fatal to humans and most animals, except for chickens. Unconsciousness occurs within 10... That still sounds like a hell of a long time. Without circulating oxygenated blood, cell death and irreversible brain damage occurs after three to six minutes with no oxygen. Ten seconds of lying there conscious and headless sounds like forever. Just saying. All right, all right, all right. Hide. 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 Better hide. Control. <laughs> I can hear my heartbeat. Very, very angry. This is what a Trump rally looks like, by the way. I can smell him. He smells like a can of old spam. Smells like somebody. Threw roadkill on this big. And Thank you, Matt, for the uh, kind words about the Dilla Hunting interview that just released to podcast listeners and on YouTube today. I need him to go away. I'm waiting for the chainsaw to disappear. It sounds like he's right on top of me. Sneak, sneak. Enemy alertness icon. The small eye, it's within a certain distance. Discovery is the big, wide-eyed, scared-to-death eye. It's the enemy is aware of you. When an enemy is within a certain distance, the proximity icon will appear. When an enemy has found you, <laughs> shit, I will know. Uh, the discovery icon will appear. Well... Okay. Okay. He is pissed. What am I supposed to do? I guess I use that for sight. Where the hell is he? In the doorway. In the doorway. Tell you, these Jehovah's Witnesses are very aggressive. Very aggressive. Uh, yeah, it's my new computer. I haven't seen all. I can't remember all the specs. It's uh, it's an Nvidia. He saw me. My God! Father Abraham had many sons. Oh, shit! 
Many sons have Father Abraham. I am one. Actually, I'm two of them. <laughs> oh my god. This is gory. This is a gory mess. Everywhere I go, I feel like I'm trapped. What the? Shit. How do I get rid of him? How do I shake him? Very deep wounds. Very deep. As long as I'm here, let's do some recon and find out where I'm supposed to go next. Door. something on the table I was supposed to pick up. Oh, no. <sighs> Crap. Anybody else need a Gatorade? need some of that ointment that they let us put on ourselves in Resident Evil. You know, you sprinkle it on your hand, and every wound is automatically healed. I need that. With oh, that's just the opening sequence? <laughs> okay, let's watch it. Enhance your calm. Whoa, I'm able to run? Front door. Whoa. Whoa.
Man, I'm sorry, but you never came out. I'd waited, but... Uh... Please, settle uh, down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Shit! There's no going back. All right, we need to ditch this person. Damn it. Right? It's a matter of time. Everyone. everyone must be dead. Everyone all right back there? Just a few bumps. We're fine. 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 We will be once we're fine. far away. Fine. A little further and we'll be fine. Chapter 1. Clear. Let us save, brethren. Saving. Oh, I like the little brain icon with a bicycle pump pumping into it. This is a pretty damn good game. No, I don't want to do that. Chapter 2. I already did that. What do I do? Escape. Next chapter. Enemies drop four types of items. Ammunition, health recovery, green gel and something I couldn't read because the damn cinematic moved too quickly. I can't, can't move. Um, I have a feeling my entrails are about to become my extrails. Get me up off the damn... Um... Um...
What's that in the top left? Bodies found in Lakeside Town. Cause of death remains a mystery. More than a dozen mutilated bodies found in the village of Elk River. Several residents unaccounted for. All right, so I have had a chainsaw wound. Now, how do I heal myself? Do I... Does it automatically heal me? Heal M. Uh, options. Controls. Button assignments. Combat and vibrations. I guess it's automatic. Toilet. Hello. Anybody there? Actually, it's comparatively clean. It even sparkles a little bit. I mean, for a horror game, it's relatively tidy. Phil says the Steam Forum says if you're hurt, the health regens enough to survive one attack. You just have to stand still for a few seconds. Something out there. Roaches. Are we awake? Oh. She's Is awake. everyone else all right? The city. Whatever are you talking about? You are the only soul here. She's got that come right hither now. voice, right? Like come with me. A hospital. I this have place is necessary for you. Such sights. You're always welcome to here. show you. I've been hospitalized. I'm afraid I cannot answer that. Please. Sparkling means there's an item. Now let's go back and look. Oh, um, uh, hang on. I want to go see it. We're we're gonna do a little. Uh... All right, never mind. That's probably that ship has sailed. That porcelain ship has sailed. We'll go back here and talk to Nurse Diesel. Without signing in. Save game. There's no way to ensure your future memories. This way, please. Would you follow her? Smells like medicine. Smells like medicine. Why am I talking like this? Because I'm the hero? What's that? You are all right. Please relax. Please like, have a seat. Am I oversharing if I've if I if I say that I've always thought glasses were hot on a woman? Like when Natalie wears her glasses. Just to I feel my heartbeat go up just a little bit. What's that about, I wonder? What the hell? Not on this woman. The one who just put me in the chair. This is for your own. Green gel can be used to upgrade individual Stop. skill parameters. There now, you see? All better. Lady, am I going crazy? Huh? Now what makes you say that? I'll be waiting. I go down to that burning ring of fire. Maybe it's because intelligence is sexy, and for some reason the cliché of intelligence is the nerd with glasses. Shit. What the hell is going on? Hold. Where am I? 
What am I? What, what am I? Kidman, where are you? Connolly. Syringe. The origin of the medication in this travel syringe is unknown, but it provides moderate health restoration. Okay. Access the inventory with V. Equip or use items and set shortcuts. Oh! Inventory! Natalie's a beauty anyway. I mean, she just knocked my socks off. First day I met her. Now we didn't get together till much later, but... But, you know, she's... She works in medical. So, you know, she'll come home and be like, Hey, baby, you look great in your lab coat and glasses. Melee attacks. Attack enemies barehanded or with a melee weapon. You just... Yeah, it's frustrated. Yeah, get it out of your system, pal. Anger issues. Natalie tells me I have what she calls, as a joke, my working it voice. And I'm like, no, I don't. And she's like, yes, you do. She's like, whenever I'm, uh, I, I have kind of a formal way of speaking anyway. But uh, if I'm leaving a voicemail or, you know, if I'm st standing on stage or whatever, she's like, are you using your working it voice? Like I'm performing. And I'm like, no, that's my voice. That's how I talk. And she just smiles. Hmm. <sighs> um. How do I get down there? Oh, what's that? I don't need that. Jesus is my life. Why would you need a lantern if you got Jesus? Uh, what does that symbol on the right mean? Hey, pal. What's eating you? Okay. Oh my god. Oh yeah, one shot, one kill. Oh, you want to go? You Oh shit. <laughs> oh, kneecap. How long do I wait for him? Is he still dead? Oh, it's just a... It just delays him. My God. My God. <sighs> I am a lousy shot. Pick up the stuff. Pick up the stuff. I'd like a better weapon. Oh yeah, you want you want Oh, wrong one. What was melee attack? Remember? F. 
like this is what I do in the middle of a, um, a very intense scene. You know, the thing's coming at me and there's ooze coming out of his skull and the music's pounding. And I'm like, what button was melee attack? That's how I play games. Was it F or was it space? And then I get into the philosophical, uh, philosophical questions. What, where did the word melee come from? Like, why melee? What does that mean? What's the root word? Derivative of what? Melee. Melee? Melee. Pardon me, doctor. Hurts. Whoa. Were you warning me about this? Yeah, I'm a button masher, too. You are Leslie, right? I'm a police officer. Dressed Maybe like an I old should cowboy. Help should help you. Shit. How am I going to get you to a hospital? Look like hospital. a gangster hospital. mixed with Indiana hospital. Jones. Hospital. Hospital! What the fuck? <laughs> Disarming traps. Space. Hold to disarm the trap. Trap parts acquired. Needed to craft bolts for the Agony Crossbow. They are used in the inventory screen. We get to fire an Agony Crossbow? Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I, uh... I, uh... I tend to walk first. Sprint, shift, hold sprint. Okay. But it consumes stamina. Yeah, well, we don't want that. But it's warning me that I'm eventually going to need, or probably immediately going to need a sprint button. Using matches. God, how many instructions do I have to juggle? Approach a fallen enemy and press C to burn them. Destroying them completely. Burning consumes one match. If the same enemies are close enough, they can all be burned with one match. Other things besides corpses and enemies can also be burned. All right. Can we burn him? See? Burn. Don't stand on him when you burn him, you dumbass. I feel like I missed something in over here. And then I just leave the burning corpse. Like, I'm guessing this is not a, a dry season. Okay, I can't uh, traverse past the gate, so this is a linear journey. We're going to go around and find what we need to find. What kind of games do you play? Do you play horror games? Do you bother? Do you find them repulsive? Do you wonder what the attraction is? She needs a name. What do we call her? Shoe. Um, light reading. Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, November 2004. How old's this game? Finally got my gold badge, Detective Sebastian Castellanos. Or Castellanos. I like the sound of that. Seems a long time coming, but they say that I'm one of the fastest ever to rise through the ranks. Can't wait to get started. I know that I can do more good as a detective than I ever could as a beat cop. Plus, I don't have to wear that damned uniform anymore. The pay bump doesn't hurt either. KCPD needs all the help they can get. There's a seemingly disproportionate amount of crime these days. Crimson City is my home. It's my job to protect it. Uh, 
shit. More serene music, too. Da, da, da. This always reminds me of the fountains at the Bellagio when I hear that song. What the? Back here again. I must be losing it. Can I drink that coffee? Okay, let's, uh, would you say look in the John? Let's take a look. No, nothing in the bathroom. <sighs> okay. Now, this is where a smart person would not open the cells of asylum or committed uh, insane people, especially when they're having a haunted dream. So this is a transport between dimensions, then. Serial killer on the loose. Victims had surgery performed on them. Police believe slangs the work of a serial killer missing portions <laughs> in several local communities. There are a great many clues. Cops still putting together the pieces. That's what that article sounds like. That was mine. Some symbolage. Okay, I guess this is my save point then, right? I mean, because I can't get into the rooms. So let's go back and save real fast. Oh, shit. Let's uh, save over this slot. Missing Leslie Withers. Oh, I know Leslie. Psychiatric patient disappeared from a locked room at Beacon Mental Hospital. I'm a cowboy. On a steel horse I ride. I'm wanted. Wanted, dead or alive. I don't understand. I don't have enough points to upgrade. Put out that light. The only thing missing from this scenario is the sound of an old man's voice going, Get off my land! 
That's all that's missing. The duck walked up to the lemonade stand And he said to the man Round in the stand Hey, bomb, bomb, bomb Got any grapes? Space. How am I supposed to remember that? And he waddled away. Waddle, waddle, waddle. And he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. Till the very next day. Bum, 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 bum. Please don't turn around, sir. Ooh. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm a badass. That's one of those earbugs you get stuck in your head. Leslie, come back. Space climbs over obstacles and through windows. All right, well, at least there's just you know, scant few buttons to remember. My kind of game buttons don't take you out of the experience. And he waddled away, waddle, waddle. <sighs> yes, earbug, or uh, earworm, I think. Is that another one? What the hell is that? The Eye of Sauron out there? Leslie. Don't give up hope. No, that's not hey, Leslie. Are you guys from around here? <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong one. Wrong one. Pardon me, son, but your face is split open. Somebody get that boy some back team. 
Okay, um... I can't crouch low enough! <laughs> I can't crouch low enough! Ah! Here, have a bottle. Oh my god! piece of that, I'll get... smash... You scare me. I'm not sure why I'm not firing a gun at him. Why this person doesn't hear. Hey, let's go inside. Do I have a weapon? Gun! I guess that would have been one way to do it, to try to get around, go around. Oh, am I supposed to burn those bodies? Yeah. Oh, two for one, baby. Good to see you, Dirty Jacked. Have a good one. I'm about done here myself. What is that? Why is there a hide button? Whew. Hmm. Oh. I was further away. <laughs> I thought I was further away. And I... Oh, Shiite. They sound like uh, slee stacks. Okay. Didn't they hear that? Yes. Where's my gun? I guess I should load before I walk up. <laughs> Bad boy. I guess I should shoot in your general direction. Out of ammo. Alright. Oh! Oh! I'm 
get around this. Uh... All right, what's the move here? Do I do a sneak kill on that guy? Oh, let's do a sneak kill. So, throw the bottle. Whew. There's another bottle. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, stealthy boy. You see that? I'm like the wind. How do I get that? I want that. Can I throw another bottle? Where's the body? Isn't there another body I'm supposed to burn? I do enjoy the horror genre. It's atmospheric, it's intense. This is true when it comes to movies as well. I uh, really do enjoy the uh, kind of the adrenaline kick that comes. I feel like I'm being pulled just looking at it. What's an emote? Like, uh, I barely know what bits are. Okay, what do these numbers mean around the weapon? I have one chamber or one cartridge. It's not a cartridge if it's a revolver. What's the eight mean? Is it an eight-shot revolver? I doubt that. Checkpoint. Okay, what would you do here? I 
like one round left in the gun and eight total inventory, that would make sense, I guess. People who subscribe to your channel, it gives them an emote. You should have an open slot. So, uh, someone's going to have to educate me. I don't know diddly about it. Okay, well, yeah, I've got a six-cylinder uh, revolver then. I've got a full, not magazine, but I've got a full weapon and three leftover bullets. I'm learning. I don't want to just waltz in there. Somebody's got some serious sleep apnea. What do they call those devices that you wear when you go to bed so that you can breathe? People with sleep apnea use them. What was that? Oh! <laughs> Oh, one shot, point blank range. You want a piece of that? Huh? You want a piece of the cookie? So if I'm standing... Like I'm hiding and crouching, but I'm holding a torch. How do I disarm? Oh. Um. some deep guana or guano I am in some very deep excrement don't you follow me through the wire pal yeah no that's right oh no 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 it's very bad Press space repeatedly. Shit. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go and do the rest of my day. This is fun. Let's try this again. Title menu. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely have to play this soon. But uh, thanks for watching the stream, my friends, and we'll uh, probably do it again maybe sometime midday tomorrow, maybe tomorrow afternoon, okay? Catch you later.